Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to uh, transcode your H.264 files to an editable file for Final Cut or any other uh, editing program. Um, I have a T2i um, and a GoPro and they both shoot on uh, H.264 so I have to transcode my footage before I can uh, edit them in Final Cut. Um, I use this thing called MPEG Stream Clip. Uh, I'll put the link uh, in the description below so you guys can download it. It's pretty awesome. It's free. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, here's my footage right here, uh, my, uh, just these two right here. Uh, th I'm just going to show you those two. Um, uh, open up MPEG Stream Clip, go to List, go to Batch List, uh, go to Add Files, and then go to your, go to your footage, click To Batch, um, go, these, this is fine, leave that like that, uh, go to OK, um, I'm going to put it in this folder right here. You can put it in whatever folder you want. Um, all right, raise the quality all the way up. Um, you can either, I either use um, Apple ProRes LT, which is like a smaller version than this, uh, makes it just a smaller file, uh, file size, and you don't need anything bigger if you're working just for the web or something. Um, you might want to use this if it's for something besides the web. Um, but I use this for the web, actually. It's called Apple Internet. Apple Intermediate Codec, and um, it seems to work fine. Um, you keep the sound uncompressed, you keep this unscaled, and you want to deselect this um, if you're shooting in progressive, which I am. I have uh, 1080p, uh, and most cameras do shoot that, or 720p, so most likely you're going to un, you know, uncheck that. Um, go to batch, and then press go. And it's just going to go through um, this thing, and I won't make you guys wait. All right, guys, once that's done, um, you can see here that they're complete. Um, you need to go over to Final Cut and go to File, Import Files, okay? Go find those, those um, Apple Intermediate um, files, select them both, put them in here, and now you'll see... Uh, you want to match the settings. Uh, you can go through and, and, and set them yourself if you want right here, um, like I have, but uh, you can also match it and it's just fine. It'll work just fine, but you can see here that uh, completely fine, doesn't skip at all. Um, you know, it's not, it's not an issue um, when it comes to editing. So that's how you do it, guys. Um, please subscribe if you like this video.